you know, a set against Burst, which is not exactly free, so to speak, but I feel like, you know, uh, Jackal can definitely push ahead. Oh, yes. If he gets a good start. But of course, if Burst is playing that thing, I like to keep saying, if he plays Princess mode, what are you really going to do to Royalty? True. I can relate, personally. So as we go into this next game, Jackal uh, kind of has his work cut out from, like you said earlier. If you play the, if you play the, for the Pretty Princess backup game plan for Burst, Jackal is not going to get in. Um, but unfortunately for Burst, if Jackal gets in, you kind of die. Sure. You know, uh, like, Sephiroth being really, a uh, really light character, decept deceptively so. And we've seen Jackal take Zomba out, uh, a midway character like Rob, so early on. Damn. But man, as I say that, it took me Burst in the in the hot seat. Today, Jackal into the 100% already, already in the first 20, uh, 40 seconds of the game. And I really like Burst's understanding of spacing, because where he wants to be is always a character's length, or maybe like two characters length away from uh, the threat bubble that kind of Jackal is presenting. Understanding, you know what I mean? If I stay just outside the range, the F tilts, the back airs, like you said before, Chef's Kiss. Oh, 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 no follow up. We'll be going in for the pork instead. Trying to go for the back, uh, the F tilt into the up, uh, up tilt as well, but not going to get anything started. There it is, back air. Always a great clean concept for uh, for uh, Sephiroth to utilize. Dash tag also for Jackal is going to be sending reverse up into the air, but Yo. like you said, I, I feel like he didn't do that magnet movement. He kind of just like, s s you know, sight it out a little bit. He beer reverses his whole way down, looking like Snake yeah. with that kind of recovery. That's interesting. Kept it very ambiguous, uh, kind of just zigzagging the way back down to stage, and Jackal kind of wasn't really ready for that. Uh, so understanding to be, you know, maybe I can be very deceiving on the way I want to land even with Sephiroth. That big hurt box doing something uh, decent for once. We do have the wing out, I do want to mention, yeah. and the game decides, hey, you're not winning this next interaction, is what <laughs> basically was telling you. So the wing is, um, or was out for a second, may I say, but come on, Jackal's still kind of struggling to get the 174% gone from uh, from someone like Sephiroth. Yo. And great, beautiful angle on the auto slash. Oh my goodness. Do it again. Oh, you just yeah, died. Not, you can't be too greedy. Yo, I didn't even see Sephiroth's oh, body. Oh, remember leave. that wolf flash is a thing. The sweet spot as well is going to kill you. Uh, it will spike to the, to the depths. So. It didn't even spike Sephiroth. He just exa evaporated. Like, I didn't <laughs> see his body go down. He didn't go anywhere. Jackal is bringing it right back. The long sword of Masamune is going to be a big factor here about uh, in this matchup. Where again, Jackal needs to find a way to get in with, with these Eptos, with the back airs, with the forward airs. It does not allow Jackal to have that free range that he typically did in, for example, Yo, against Zamba. I lied. Exploded. I lied. Like, exploded. Why do I speak, Cup? I don't know why I speak. I lied. He just evaporated. That was actually like... Yo. <laughs> no, he evaporated. I don't know where he went. I didn't even know his stock was gone, and so I looked at the screen again. The most disrespectful thing is as he gets one wing, he dies. That's just mean. He's just wondering right now. There it is. Okay. Wondering came out uh, almost immediately. Oh, no, it didn't. I keep thinking that his like his, his uh, arm is like, when it's moving, it's wing. It's not. And there's an actual sound cue that I need to listen for. That's my fault. That's a skill show on my end. Ooh. But it's A-OK. -okay. Jacko is at 135%. We still don't have that little... Come at factor of the wing coming out for Sephiroth whatsoever. So Burst still has his work cut off for him. A whole stock deficit away from Jackal. There it is, baby girl, the big old wing coming into play. Kind of do something now. Again, Jackal trying to get his back ends, but not finding any type of motion. The down tilt going to catch off the edge. Can't stand there for too long. And the one wing maybe doing a favor. Full oh, burst. Wow. There it is. Again, no spacing allowed. No, no, not even really need. I can just keep going in with my speed. Can you really deal with it though? Okay, with grab going for a spot dodge, got a little bit scared there. Didn't want, did not want Jackal to come in and realize that we whiffed the grab. Come on, honey, kind of go for the nair, but the big old wolf foot does come in in front of Sephiroth's face. Now, can Sephiroth get through here? A betray, but it's not favorable whatsoever. Really narrowly escaping the laser as well as he's recovering with the auto slash. And there it is. Nice bait out from Jackal. Nice approach with utilizing the platform as an extension of yourself. And a nice W on the board for him. Yeah, I feel like um, it was all going burst where everything was connecting until that second stock when he just kind of, like you said, evaporated, right? And then ever since then, Jackal just took the lead, took the mantle. Uh, they just kind of steadied it on to win that first game. Honestly, yeah, there's not, really much, not too much to analyze right now, like, only this because was this was the angling, the approach was just so, so smart. Until you, you see how overextend, <laughs> right? You see how he didn't go anywhere? Mm -hmm. You see how we didn't see Sephiroth's body? I don't know where he went. He evaporated immediately. Ooh, counter swapping. We're going over on our counter picking the stage. We're going over town and city with K uh K Slider in the background just kinda giving us some tunes. Three platforms, uh lots, I'm, I'm sorry. Lots of different setups for the platforms that can really go in burst favor, but Jackal 
you know, doesn't really mind Talon City. He's played on this stage many times, and he understands what Wolf can do, especially when there's no platforms available or when they have the extended, like, double platforms that are really far away. Mm -hmm. Jacko just knows how to play around them so well, and I think you can see that right now in this first part of the game. It's interesting that you would pick Talon City after seeing Jackal spam and kill you with so many back ends, because the, the, the blast on the side are so small. But either way, Burst knows something, but again, at the moment, we know that he's getting blasted right now. Burst just can't really find a way in. Completely right, and I think it's starting to showcase that a little more as well. Burst is, you know, struggling to get the, the lead back in his favor, if even trying to get a to a more even pronounce up uh, more even game. And you know what? Try to stay, stay on the stage. My man just got destroyed, unfortunately, and, that, and that's also a factor, like I mentioned earlier, the weight difference here and the the power output of Wolf is very overwhelming for Starf Starfrost to deal with at times. Absolutely. Machine trying to space around with a couple forward ends, back as two, can't really find it. Tries to retreat on the ledge, but he's getting caught again by Jackal, applying so much pressure, and barely staying even anywhere near him. Good near as a, as a start, but uh, second air to boot as well, trying to go for the back air, but Jackal uh, just waiting patiently, going for the forward air into the dash, dash attack as well. Now, can we see a uh, finisher for Jackal? Even though you know Burst is at 60%, we are going to be seeing Burst reverse in his favor as we see the Nair just kind of send Jackal back on stage. The Wolf Flash can be connecting in time to kind of reverse the situation for a moment there, but the, da but the uh, dash attack coming in from, ja from uh, Burst and then finishing right off beautifully with the forward air. Nice stuff. Yeah, the down tilt from Sephiroth is such a really good sliding option from both Seph and Cloud, and the way that Burst used to get with Sephiroth, uh, really smart to understand. If you're going to stay on the ledge for too long, this down tilt lasts a long time, and it reaches. Long foot. He slides. He's low profile. He's so cool. Come on now, going to be uh, up and back to the ledge. Uh, you see Jacko just kind of waiting it out. Probably going to be utilizing the short hop uh, back air in a second. Or, oh, you can be grabbed. Those what are you doing? Those tricks don't work with me. i got these big claws. You know, come see him. And they scoop under a ledge too, so yep. if you re-grab, you just, you simply explode, just like in that moment. Oh, trying to get the shine combos, but maybe it doesn't really work on Seth, who knows? Either way, couldn't find it that time. No conversion again, Burst got to try again with spacing. Back to Princess mode, and at the moment, doing a decent job. Oh, trying to go for the big snap of the fingers, another one to boot, but on shield, not going to do too much against Jacko, who is just kind of looking for his opportunity to actually get in the space. The, uh, the back airs and the forwarders that uh, Burst has been throwing out have been very, very uh, powerful in maintaining a set space that Jacko cannot play around. But, oof. oh, yo, ooh, oof, 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 oof. It's not looking, it's not looking good. Yeah, you got to watch out for that one. Again, Burst not going for the, uh, the re-grabs that time. Understanding Jackal's probably used to it now. Goes for the roll. Actually works out well for him this time. Jackal, can he recover to the stage? He can. Now they're both battling in the air. Seems to always be Jackal's favor, though. Really good at kind of scrapping in these air-to-air -air moments. Uh, until now, the big back air not taking the kill, though. Okay, going in for the up beyond the ledge. Come on now. Got a little bit of re-grab there, but we go for the intro get up. Burst trying to step out, uh, trying to finish it out with the back air, or trying to go for the forward air as well, but it's just not working out whatsoever. Jackal's spacing has been impeccable until you jump into my up to up smash. Don't play with me. You're up to. Okay, it's not over yet. You can get a little some some side unless Jackal stays composed. <laughs> Burst got works a little bit harder if he wants to claim back this game. He's taking too much damage right now. Oh, I love the down smash from Sephiroth so much. Unfortunately, not going to be able to work in this situation. Burst have 118%, almost 120. Basically, you just die uh, if you didn't get the re-grab, but instead you roll in and get a smash for your efforts. That is a 2-0 lead for Jackal, and that is a third game we're going towards. Burst seems to be struggling exponentially uh, in uh, the, the Wolf matchup. I, I feel like... Uh Burst so far that we've seen on stream and probably in just in general is that he's he's very com again he's like kind of like John Numbers that way very comfortable on the ledge because of what Seth can do on these re grabs yes. the range as well but Jack was like I've seen all this type of shenanigans before I'm used to the circus you gotta find a different trick for me bro I can you know I got the whip I got the claws whatever you want uh, I got something to settle it and at the moment Burst has to find a different way out that ledge gimmick not working out been figured out but try something new. Oh, I'm sure that we're going to be staying on Town and City for the third and possibly final match. Of course, this is match point for Jackal to continue on throughout Losers Top 6 and into Top 4, as I say. But oh, oh, God, oh wow, that was a little bit nasty. That was pretty good, though. I and understanding, lie. again, if you overextend, it's not even just taking damage, you die. And that type of punish game, second to none right now. Jackal on a whole new level. He tried going for it again. You saw that? You mean? Oh, oh, Don't you're roll evil, in, oh, man. He roll out too. The fast full forward S I B. I saw it. I saw it in my eyes. You got PTSD. It's okay. Just say that. You all got a little bit of trauma in us. Oh, trying to go for the. F okay, instead of going for the upper, we actually go for the forward instead. Trying to pay all, all this space with this big old sword, but the wing may be out. But Jackal is still on the offense here. 
Okay, with grab, we're gonna be seeing a rollback from Jacko as well. Trying to get a little bit of a trade. Still in favor of Jacko all around. Lot three socks apiece. Or not even a piece, just three socks on Jacko and a down smash to boot. Hits one side, hits the other side. Why are you rolling? Why are you yeah, why, and, why, and why the actually? way the way you set up for that kill was really smart because the whole set so far until now, he'd been drifting there to kind of cross it up. He yep. actually drifted on the same side to make sure whatever burst picked it was wrong. Got the down smash from the read uh, back as well. So super smart gameplay from Jacko. It seems so simple, but when it's minimalistic, it's effective and it's working really well out. You know, it's about to be 3 0 right now. That's kind of why I think Jacko in this meta, even though Wolf is kind of, you know, a, a, a little bit of an odd pick. Archaic. He, yes, thank you. <laughs> like, that, yes, he plays so simplistic and just plays the the right game plan that it, it's consistent with most of the cast. No flashy business, maybe like one or two wolf flashes if you, you know you can get away with it. But otherwise, it's consistent, it's stable, it's you know you can rely on it like, you know, a good old friend. It's making Burris' life a lot harder to deal with. Okay, spacing again, that back is going to keep him away. Even with the one wing out, you have to change up the game pass a little bit more. But again, the air to air has always been in Jackal's favor. That long sword just comes up a little bit too slow, whereas quick claws can come out and put you to bed, stuff you out. Yeah, we're 100% as, as Sephiroth. It's not looking too good for our hero. Ooh, you saw Jacko. I'm shoving it and go for a smash attack of any sort, but I like that Burst did try to go for a little bit of a delayed uh, reaction there on, the, on attack, but it's still really Jacko's game if he just gets his last back air. You see it going out, but instead he fill, follows right through with the up air instead on Town City of all places. Ooh, yeah, it's just, it's just hard to contest because yep. like, even if it's not the quick forward air, the back air does come out a little bit later, uh, but at, at the same time, you don't want to deal with that hitbox so you're scared, you're running around it, but then the fast fall up air, you know, Wolf's air mobility is insane. Yes. It's not like Yoshi or Puff, but it's still really good. He can float, you know, a couple inches in the air as well. So if he misses one aerial, he's got another one in the back pocket to kind of take your stock away. And although Wolf likes to kind of like be, you know, chilling on the ground more than often than not, um, he can make it work. For sure. You know, he's just facing for a reason. He better be a little bit, he better be at least a little adept in the air. A little bit. Not, a little to, bit. not, not to the extent of Falco, not to the extent of Fox, but a little bit. You know, you, you better, you know, pack it up, please. So, Burr's going to be <laughs> falling through, uh, getting, I believe, seventh now. We're going to be fighting over for fifth place, uh, going in, uh, going into Ling and John numbers. Um, no, I lied. He got fifth place. This is for fifth place as well. Um, yes. Yes, I am. You're doing it. I've been up since 7 a.m. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> 